All right, what we have here is my second portable Super Nintendo. That's right, this is a Super Nintendo Mini that I took. I added a 5-inch LCD screen, uh, a Zenith, actually it was a Zenith GameCube game screen. Very easy to use. Uh, original Super Nintendo controls, a case from polycase.com, the ZN40 case, and very easy to use. What we have here is a Player 2 port. This is a auxiliary power input. Whenever you plug in the power, uh, it cuts off the power coming from the batteries and just goes from the wall power. And then we also have color coded, of course, video out and a headphone jack. Um, this video out goes with this cable right here, which goes to that. Basically, just plug it on in, then play it, plug it into the standard RCA jacks. Very easy to use. It plays on both the screen and the TV at the same time. Um, it gets a little bit darker on the screen, but overall not bad. On the back here, we have something that I'm really proud of, is the shoulder buttons. These are original Super Nintendo shoulder buttons, which I made into kind of trigger buttons, kind of like on the Xbox. And a U-shaped cartridge connector there relocated there and two lithium ion batteries these are basically Chinese knockoffs of the Sony info lithium batteries um, probably about 20 bucks each on eBay a little bit less than that I think actually 14 each 7.2 volts each they're wired in parallel uh, 2400 milliamp hours so total put together is 4800 milliamp hours lithium ion batteries so good deal there they're held on with this really strong 3m velcro which you can see, it's not like regular Velcro, but rather sort of plastic with little knobs on it. And then a little a couple of Molex connectors there that I just kind of jury rigged in place. Let's get that back on there, just pop it right on. I haven't done a test yet to see how long they last, but it's several hours. I don't know exactly how long. I'll, I'll do that next. But let's go ahead and pop in the game and see how it looks. I have a lot to choose from here. We got, well, as soon as it focuses. Killer Instinct, Top Gear, Super Mario World, Ninja Turtles 4, F-Zero, Chuck Rock, yeah, that one's all right, Star Fox, Donkey Kong Country, Yoshi's Island, Mega Man X, and Legend of Zelda. Let's, let's play Yoshi's Island for a moment. Real easy to use, just slide it down the back like that and pop it into place. Doesn't stick too far out of the top there. And then from the front, Looks pretty good. Yeah, nobody watches the beginning. Oh, that's right, I'm on the sixth world. Forgot about that. All right. Let's go to, uh, well, let's just continue where I am. You know, it's the one dead pixel up here. Makes me sad. Really, it's pretty lightweight. It uh, has a little bit of heft to it, but not bad. Oh. And there it goes. Okay, enough of that. Oh, the best screen ever. Doesn't that take you back? All right, here we go. Just jump right in the action here. You notice the corners are lit up a little bit. You can kind of tell that it was LED modded to save battery life rather than use the original backlight that came with it. Switched out with some four very bright uh, LEDs, supposedly 10,000 millicandela. It's still a little bit dark in person. I think I'm going to do a brightness mod on it. Be 
make it a little bit brighter, but for the most part, it does its job. The sound is great, obviously. Great speakers that come with the thing. Oh, yeah. it is in action and since it's in the back like this then even messing with it some doesn't freeze it works just fine 